Hello, I'm Andy Singh and I'm going to predict the month of December by using Divinity Kabbalistic Tarot cards and this is going to be for Aries. The first card that I'm going to pick is got to do with career, business and finances. So let me pull that card for you. Alright, it's facing you and uh, this card shows now I'm going to divide it into two. So for the first 15 days of December regarding your career, you're going to have support and you're going to do well enough in your career where even the chance of a promotion may come about. The second half of this card shows obstruction to progress, difficulties in gaining any ground towards getting a promotion or a bigger area of responsibility. So remember that the first half of the month which I divide into the 15th, let's say the 15th of December, from the 1st December to 15th December, things are going quite well for you. And then as the month progresses after that, things seem to turn against you in career areas. Now regarding business. <coughs> Again, I would apply this half the month theory that the first 15 days of uh, December are going to be very helpful for you in Aries where your business is concerned. You're going to have the chance of getting information that progress in the form of expansion in your business or adding on a new business or finding a new contract or maybe finding a business partner. So good news comes until the 15th of December. After that, there is a gradual process towards slowing down. And the bottom of the card shows many difficulties in finding support in business. So this could be that your products may not do well, or it could mean that um, the chances of collection money may not be easy. So one way or in the other, the last half of the month is troublesome for you in business. In general finances, the sign of Venus and the sign of Aquarius is seen on this card. And uh, I transfer this as money out more than money in, number one, for you in Aries. And number two, watch out that um, being tempted to chase a business contract may not be the best idea for you, especially during the last 15 days of December, because you may be misled. Okay. Now I'm going to pull another card for you, and this has got to do with your romance, marriage and family. So let me pull the card. It's facing you, so you are in control, don't worry, of this situation of romance, marriage or family. It's a card where Jupiter is shown and where the sign of Sagittarius is shown and there's a sun position right in the center. So you can, you in Aries, in the first 15 days or maybe a bit more, you can find romance very easily and it will blossom for you very nicely. Regarding romance, I would further say that this romance that comes into your life from the 1st December to the 15th or a bit more is going to produce a long-term good support for you regarding your marriage or oh, wait, well, regarding your romance uh, the last 15 or so days of uh, December are not shown to be very good that shows a drought period that means a lack of energy which can carry on this good situation. Now it doesn't, it doesn't show collapse but it shows two things. One is that the last 15 days some problems of the past either in your case or in the other party's case in the area of romance may provide some difficulties and hurdles and even depression. The other scenario I find here is that the advice is not to consider this immediately as a long-term situation. 
Okay, so two, two warnings are there in Romance regarding the second half of the month from roughly 15 December to the 31st December. Now regarding marriage, yes, for the first 15 or 16 or 17 days you can do very well. Your marriage situation is under control, happiness is seen, an expansion of the family, which means that you may can look forward to having a baby, the couple can have that uh, good news. And also financial areas seem to be under control. So the marriage situation is doing quite well for you for the first 15 or 16 days of December. But after that, on the bottom of the card, there comes an inverted sign of Jupiter, which means now, rather than money coming in, money goes out. And that can trouble a romance or a marriage. So the second half of December, watch out that financial situations may trouble your marriage. Number two, be very careful during the last half of the month that being stubborn or being difficult or being provocative, especially the way you say things, watch out for that. Try not to do that and you'll be able to control your marriage situation. Overall, for family areas, the center part of the sun shows that there will be happiness. So I don't consider the situation as turning very bad, generally speaking, for, for you in the second half of the month. I'm going to pull a third card for you and I'm going to look at your health areas and it's facing you. So you are still in control. It's good to be in control. When the cards face you that I pull, you are in control, which means that you are able to tackle the situation. When it faces me, you are not in control, which means that you can lose some kind of a hold on a situation that's going bad. Let's talk about your health now. All right. Well, the card of Mercury is shown here, the card of Mercury. And the card of Mercury says that the stress in your career or business or personal affairs will overtake your health situation. Here, the problem is towards your Jupiter area, which would be your heart. For you Aries, it would be your heart and your liver area. So watch out for high cholesterol situations. And then comes the sign of Sagittarius again. So, over here, I worry that your blood sugar level may be a worry and the problem of becoming diabetic or worsening the diabetic situation could also be seen. Also, the problem shows, shown here is of your weight. You may have trouble controlling your weight in the month of December. So, work out. You probably will have to go to a few parties and things like that. Remember to work out. So overall, for you in Aries, the whole month of December has ups and downs, but from what I can see, you will be in control of them. There is no thorough breakdown coming as such. Okay? You can contact me on Facebook and follow me, and uh, you'll be able to see what I write sometimes, and be able to communicate with me as well. In the meantime, I thank you for listening to me and uh, good luck.